When people think about traveling to Hawaii, well, they probably visualize beaches and palm trees, surfing, waterfalls, volcanoes, and tropical settings. In fact, nearly 8 million tourists flew to Hawaii last year. But what's not flying high above the skies of Hawaii are four very important species of bird of the Hawaiian Islands. We're going to take a close look to see what's happened to them, as well as talk to the people who are making sure these birds get back to the skies of Hawaii. Hi, I'm Rick Schwartz, and I'm in Hawaii visiting San Diego Zoo Global's Bird Conservation Centers. It was realized in the later half of the 1990s that many native bird species of Hawaii were facing some challenges, and some were even headed towards extinction if something wasn't done. Today, state and federal agencies, along with San Diego Zoo Global, are all working together to save these critically endangered birds. Right now, we're focusing on four species, the critically endangered Puaiohi, Palila, and the Parapil, and the Alala, which is extinct in the wild. My name is Bryce Masuda. I'm the program manager for the Hawaii Endangered Bird Conservation Program. So Bryce, can you tell me, what are some of the problems these birds face that have put them in such a critical state? Many native forest bird species here in Hawaii are threatened or endangered for three main reasons the loss of native forest habitat. So, you know, a lot of native forests here have been degraded or destroyed because of urbanization or agriculture or even invasive species. Their introduced mammals uh, were brought to the islands by people. And so now some of these mammalian predators predate on the native birds. Final reason is there's introduced diseases that these birds have now, um, such as avian malaria or avian pox. Well, knowing then what the problems are that they face and, you know, some of them critically endangered, why save them? Why are they so important? These bird species here in Hawaii, these native species, they're found only in Hawaii. So they're extremely special and valuable and really make Hawaii so unique. It's really important, you know, to preserve these species because it's, it's such a unique part of, the, part of the ecosystem as well as part of the culture as well. Rosanna Layton, Research Coordinator, Keaho Bird Conservation Center. Why is this project so important to you? Why do you as an individual dedicate your life to this? What we do is important because the species that we work with are in need of help. I mean, when you're working with an endangered species, they've been brought to this point by multiple factors, especially in the species that we work with. And we are here to help in that recovery and hopefully get them back out into the wild where they belong. So what is it that we do right here then to prepare them for release to the wild? Well, what we do here at our facilities is we breed these endangered Hawaiian birds in captivity for the eventual release into the wild. So what we do is we we collect eggs from the birds that are that breed in captivity and we artificially incubate them. And then we hand rear the nestlings after they hatch. And once they get older, the ultimate goal is to release these birds back into the wild so to restore their populations. So walking around, this place is huge. How big is it exactly? We have access to 44 acres, but we utilize six for our operation. How many aviaries total then? We have nine aviaries, which house the four species of birds that our program cares for. The San Diego Zoo's Hawaiian Endangered Bird Conservation Program operates two captive propagation facilities, one on the big island of Hawaii and one on the island of Maui. This is Maui's first year breeding palilas and so far they've exceeded every expectation. My name is Josh Kramer. I am a research coordinator at the Maui Bird Conservation Center. Josh, can you tell me why we had so much success this year with our breeding programs? Well, this is the first year that we've actually bred Palila at the Maui Bird Conservation Center, and the year has been a success. We have produced five chicks this year, all from just one breeding pair. While spending time at both bird conservation centers, it became apparent that these birds face endangerment not because of one big event, but because of a lot of little things adding up. However, I also learned there's a lot you can do to help wildlife, both locally and around the world. 
You can keep your pets indoors or at least in fenced yards. Plant some native plants so local wildlife can enjoy it. Reduce your energy use to take the burden off of our natural resources. And most important, share what you've learned about conservation with others. Reach out to me on Twitter, at ZookeeperRick, or go to our website, endextinction.org, to find out more.